Ryan Sung Lee of The Ring Magazine here with Dwight Flemings Jr. 1-0, one knockout prospect from here in New Jersey. Um, first off, talk to me about your uh, next fight. July 30th, um, you're fighting at the Barclays Center on the uh, Danny Garcia Benavides card. Um, tell me about, um, what, is it uh, what has it been that kept you out of the ring so long since your first fight? I mean, I've been doing this all my life, man. It's my dream. I'm making my dreams come true. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful opportunity for me at uh, July 30th to fight in the Barclays on a, on a beautiful card, a huge card. Um, this is everything I ever asked for, man. I hope we just keep it coming and keep everything going the way it is right now, man. I just keep giving them, good, giving them a good show and stay giving off my talents the way, I, the way I'm supposed to. Finish them off and, you know, keep it going. Stay consistent. Mm -hmm. And what division are you in? Um, junior, uh, super, super middle. All right, so, uh, so, uh, so junior middleweight. Junior middleweight. Um, so you had an explosive pro debut at the Prudential Center, first yeah. round knockout, yeah, yeah. and then you had some other business to handle. You had to finish high school, right? Yeah, I just I just graduated yesterday. Congratulations! <laughs> Absolutely. Now I'm full throttle with uh, professional boxing. I want to get to about 15 and 0, and I want to go back to school and just just so I can know how to manage all my businesses I, I get into during my career. Mm -hmm. So, what do you uh, plan to um, to study in, in college? Um, just business management, because mm -hmm. I'm already I already have open business right now. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just looking forward to just knowing, just having the knowledge. It's just good to have the knowledge to know how to manage everything I'm going to have going in the future. And do you have a, a college in mind? Um, I was I was looking at King, I was looking at King University. Um, it don't really matter to me. I'll take Middlesex County. It'll, whatever. Mm -hmm. It don't matter to me. So how did you manage training and then also going to school? Like, I mean, cause you're not just training as an amateur. You're training as a professional now. Yeah, it, it was tough. It was tough. Getting up 5 o'clock in the morning. Getting up 5 o'clock in the morning. Going to go run. Then you got to make it back home. Get dressed for school. Go to school. And come back home. Go to a step workout. Get home. Take care of my dogs. Then go to and go to an hour drive to the gym, and it was coming home every night, 10 30, 10 o'clock at night. So it was, it was real tough for me, but you know, now, now finally I can sober away and I can focus on boxing completely now. So that's a real good look for me. I'm gonna be completely way like 100% better now that I can completely focus on boxing. Tell people about where you're from in New Jersey. I'm from Patterson, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And what's it like from Patterson? It's rough, man. It's hard. To, you know, a lot of good fighters come out of Patterson, New Jersey. Mostly because of where they, where they at, man. We start from the bottom, man. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, how many fights did you have as an amateur? Uh, I had about 80 fights. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't really have too many. Like, I wasn't really a crazy amateur. I mean, I, I definitely made noise. I, I went international. I fought. Everybody know me in Jersey. I put in enough work in Jersey. It's just, right? Everybody know my name. National, I won a few nationals. Um, went international twice. I beat some. I, I went to Hungary. I got a stop in Hungary. I beat a kid in Hungary from Hungary. I went to Spain. I uh, place. Uh, I got a silver medal in Spain. And really, really amateur. I never really seen myself in the Olympics. Yeah. And everybody, I really, always used to say that um, I have a pro style. So I really just I use the amateurs as a, as a learning stepping stone in order for the pros and for the pros. That's why I turned pro so early. Now I'm really doing what I really, really love. I'm for a check, then for a medal. What kind of uh, titles did you win as an amateur? Um, I had I had uh, silver gloves. I won nationals twice. Um, I got a Junior Olympic silver medal, um, plenty of titles, plenty of diamond gloves, silver gloves, and uh, I got a uh, plenty. Of, I can't even remember. I won a national. I got two national belts, uh, silver gloves all over, diamond gloves in New Jersey all the time. Like it's, you know, it was, it was small to me. All right. So tell me about also. Um, you know, your father's your trainer. Your father is one of the top trainers, if not, you know, the top trainer in this area right now. He's got a lot of good pros. Yeah, um, how is that, like, work, having your father be your trainer? Um, and then also, you know, he's also your dad. I mean, it's amazing, man. It's amazing and it's tough at the same time because, you know, at the end of the day, that's my dad. So in the gym, when I, when I mess up, I get it harder than everybody else do. So he, he on my back 10 times more, you know what I'm saying? But it's not only that. I can, it's, it's easier for me to live the life of boxing because my father is my trainer. Mm -hmm. A lot of fighters out here, they, they, they say they, they want to be boxers, but they don't live that boxing life. I live that boxing life 100%. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I go, boxing is coming up. I live boxing, so it, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing. It's mm -hmm. a blessing. And, uh, you know, you're fighting um, 
at the uh, Barclays Center. Um, tell me about that. This is a big card, yeah. a big exposure for you. Yeah. What are you hoping to do uh, in this fight? And uh, what kind of noise are you hoping to make? I'm trying to, I'm trying to stop them. I'm trying to put on an amazing show, an amazing show. And that way, I can open up doors for myself after this fight. I can get calls, people seeing me. I can put on a show. You know what I'm saying? I, I just hope I, I, I hope I do amazing as as before. Um, I hope I do better than that. Um, Cause that way, that's only, that way I can only go up. That way nobody miss me, nobody can ever deny me because my, my work is, is thorough. And lastly, sorry, also one, one other thing is Shakur Stevenson, he's one of the best fighters in the world right now. He's from Absolutely. New Jersey. Yeah. Um, are, are, you, are you hoping to be the next guy that carries New Jersey boxing? Absolutely, oh, that, that's hoping, that's hoping for sure. I, I got this for sure, after Shakur, it's definitely me, man. I feel like I'm the next up, absolutely, 100%.